Hi everyone! Today's session is about how to solve word problems using UPS Check. This is Teacher Angel and welcome to Math in You. The learning goals of today's topic is to add numbers using different methods and to apply UPS Check in solving problems. What does UPS check mean? So we can use this to solve problems. We can use this as our steps or guides in solving problems. First step, U. U means understand. You read the problem with understanding. What am I looking for? What do I know? Okay, second step is letter P, plan. You choose a strategy or a method to use to solve the problem. Alright, you can draw a model. Third step is to solve. Carry out the plan. In here, you will show all your work and label your answer. And the last step is to check. Check. Look back. Explain and justify your work and ask yourself, is your answer or is my answer reasonable? Is my answer correct? Alright, so let's apply these steps, this UPS check in solving problems. Problem number one, Jenna received eight cookies. Joyce received one more cookie than Jenna. How many cookies did Joyce receive? So the first step is to understand the problem. Read the problem with understanding. You can box important details in the problems. Alright, that will be your guide. Step 2. Plan. Draw a model. You can use any of the following. You can use number bonds. You can use counting on. We count on starting from 8, one step, so it's 9. And then we can use bar models, right? The number on top, that's the greater number. That's a total of the two parts below. One part is 1, one part is 8. As you can see, the size, the different size, the greater number has the greater size. And the smaller number, of course, has a smaller size. So that's your plan. And the third is to solve now. Carry out the plan. Okay, write your addition sentence. So 8 plus 1 equals 9. And then check. Look back. Did you solve? Did you answer the question? Yes. Joyce received 9 cookies. Alright. Okay, let's have another problem. Dylan has 4 blue mats. Andre has 6 red mats. How many mats do they have in all? So let's apply. First, to understand the problem. Okay, box important words or details. Yeah, you can also box in all. That means you're going to add. Then plan, draw model. You can use number bonds, counting on, and bar models. And then solve. Carry out the plan. Write your addition sentence, 6 plus 4 equals 10. And then check, look back, did you answer the question? Yes, they have 10 maths in all. So let's solve more problems, alright, and apply UPS check. Jeff has two 1 peso coins and one 5 peso coin. How much does he have in all? So there, we understand the problem. We read with understanding, box important words, then plan, draw a model. This can be our model, number bonds, counting on, and bar models. And then solve, carry out the plan. There, we add, we will now show the addition sentence, 2 plus 5 equals 7. And then check, look back, did you answer the question? Yes, Jeff has 7 pesos in all. Okay, let's have another one. Jacob answered 23 science questions. Miggy answered one more science question than Jacob. 
How many science questions did Miggy answer altogether? Alright, understand the problem. Box important details, note them, and then plan. Yeah, draw a model. You can use either the number bonds, 23, that makes 20 and 3, and then you add 1, so it's 24. Okay, one more step that's counting on, and then bar model, and then solve. Carry out the plan now. Write your addition sentence. 23 plus 1 equals 24. And then check. Look back. Alright, yes, Miggy answered 24 science questions. Okay, now are you ready to answer on your own? Please get your pen and paper. Solve the following problems and then use any method that you want. Okay? Alright, 30 seconds to answer this problem. Ready? Go! Alright, time is up. Let's check. Okay, the solution. You can write it vertically, align the digits. 4 and 3 make 7. 2 and 2 is 4. Or you can use this method. Number 1, 20 and then 4, 23, 20 and then 3. We combine 20 and 20. Right, that's 40 and then 4 and 3, that makes 7. And then we can count on from 24 right by tens 24 and then 34 and then 44 so that means we added 10 twice and then we continue add more 3 right so 44 45 46 47 yay that's the answer 47 pens in all all right so i hope you learned something today children that's it thank you for listening thank you for watching God bless you all.